Seventh grade science crew. Happy Wednesday, Falcons. Welcome back to Science 101 with Miss B. <laughs> all right, so we know that yesterday you learned all about the layers of the atmosphere. Um, we know that it's, this is a lot of information to take in. So we are on day two of layers of the atmosphere, okay? We want to make sure you get it. So we're going to keep reviewing the layers of the atmosphere until it sticks in that brain and it doesn't ever leave, okay? So first, the first layer of the atmosphere is the troposphere. Where is the troposphere? The troposphere is where we live, okay, and where planes fly, okay? We live in the troposphere, planes fly in the troposphere, okay? Um, the troposphere is heated by the surface of the earth, okay? That's how we get our heat. It's heated by the surface of the earth. The second layer is the stratosphere, and the stratosphere, it gets heat by the ozone layer. The ozone layer... Uh, absorbs radiation from the sun. It helps protect us from getting all the harmful rays from the sun, okay? That's what the stratosphere does. Also, if you ever want to go fly in a weather balloon, like on my blog the other day, if you see my blog, okay? My blog, weather balloons fly in the stratosphere, okay? That's how high they go. They go up into the stratosphere, okay? The third layer is the mesosphere. This is where most meteors burn up upon entry, if we did not have the mesosphere, meteors would, we would have meteor showers and they would destroy Earth, okay? They would destroy us, okay? They would be raining down on us and we would have no protection from them. The mesosphere helps burn those meteors up before they get here, okay? Before they get here. The mesosphere, believe it or not, is also the coldest place on Earth. It's at the top of the mesosphere, right before you get to the thermosphere, okay? The mesosphere is coldest at the top, right before you get to the thermosphere. Fourth layer, my favorite number, four, um, is the thermosphere, okay? The thermosphere, the air is so thin you cannot breathe, guys. It's so thin you can't breathe. It's like climbing to the highest mountain in the world times 10, okay? Times 10. You can't breathe up there, okay? Um, temperatures can get extremely, 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 extremely hot in the thermosphere, I think that's why they might have named it the thermosphere because thermometer, I'm thinking thermometer, hot, thermo, thermal, thermal, uh, I don't know, I'm trying to use my Latin root words, you know. And the last layer is the exosphere. Um, this is the last layer of the atmosphere, and it is also the thinnest layer of the atmosphere, okay? It's about 10,000 kilometers above Earth's surface. That's a really far, far, far away. Um, you will find rockets here. This is where the International Space Station orbits. Um, this is where um, when people are going into space to do research, this is where they go. They go straight to the ex ex exosphere. Excuse me, I can't say it. It's like a tongue twister. All right. <clears throat> um, so for your assignment today, you are going to be watching a short video and completing a discussion post, okay? Uh, we have not done discussion boards yet, but you will learn. You will see it in your assignment today, all right? And in your discussion board, let me see, it is a video of, about the atmosphere, okay? It's only about four minutes or so, okay? And your directions are to watch the video describing the layers of the atmosphere, all right? Answer the following questions by responding in the discussion post. Please be sure to number each question. Number one, you should have an answer and the number one beside it, okay? So I know which answer goes to what question, all right? So the questions are, how many layers are there in the atmosphere? No. Just saying. Just saying. You can just count those. You know. um, name the layers of the atmosphere and something you can find in each layer. Clues, you know. 
on what layer does all life exist? Human life, animal life, plant life. Number four, what is the coldest layer in the atmosphere and what is the warmest layer in the atmosphere? They're right beside each other, by the way. And number five, what are the only two elements that exist in the exosphere? This one at the top. There we go. Yeah, right there. That one, exosphere. What are the only two elements that exist in the exosphere? Okay. Um, sorry, brain fart. Sorry. So that is your assignment for today. If you have any questions, please be sure to email me, Miss Moore, Miss Cousins, or Miss Pearson. Okay. We will be glad to help you. The atmosphere is very fun to learn about. Okay, we're going to do a super cool lab on Friday that I'm so excited about. Layers of the atmosphere. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, so I hope you guys are ready to learn today. Please make sure you submit your discussion board. Oh, by the way, you will not be able to see anyone's um, answer or post until you post. Okay, this is just encouraging you to think on your own. And to make sure you're not copying your friends' answers, because I know it's easy to do that sometimes. Sometimes we don't do it on purpose, but we just want to make sure that you are uh, keeping your integrity, okay? So we want to make sure that you know the content yourself. So you will not see anyone's posts before you post your own. So don't think that, you know, something's not working right. That's just how it's set up, okay? So please be, be sure to reach out. I'm so excited to learn about the atmosphere today. And if you have any questions, I'm here if you need me. Peace out. Five, four, three, two. Um, hold on, guys. I think we need a remake. Remake! <laughs> <laughs>